uh, being able to bite or chew, I'm um, going to pop a piece of uh, gauze into the patient's mouth and get her to bite firmly and chew on it. Okay, Pam, and try the other side. Okay, is that denture lifting up and down? Yeah. No. And just bite at the front there. Just chew on that for me. Okay. Denture staying put? Yes. Yeah. So I think that demonstrates what you can see with the suction effectiveness. Um, Close, close, close. Okay, okay. Okay. So near. Okay, tongue, left. Okay. So, can you see? Oh, okay, good, very nice. So, um, maxillary front reach is not a little, uh, is a little bit framed. Very, a little bit soft. However, the uh, posterior rigid condition is very nice. Moreover, um, okay. I'm sorry, you can, uh, yeah, good. So tuberosity is nice shape when the uh, buccal labial frenum and the buccal frenum is in normal. Let's move on to the mandibula. Sounds good. So awesome, bro. Yeah. Okay. Glove, glove. We are a glove. Light. Yep. Smell. Light. Smell. Light. 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 We've used quite cold water today just to make sure that uh, the material doesn't go off too quick in, under the lights and in this condition, which makes it a little bit runnier than normal. Dr. Abe has uh, asked me to uh, explain how we would determine the posterior border area um, of the patient's denture. Um, looking at the impression, we can clearly see the imprint from her, her current denture, which she's probably quite happy with as a guide. Um, in the mouth, uh, we will go and uh, do an oral exam to find the reflective position of the tissue posteriorly to determine that. So let's begin with this uh, the presentation. So Dr. Arve has been kind to uh, mark for me the marks on the patient's uh, nose and chin. 
So, um, do we have the patient's dentures, current dentures? So we start um, this process um, by explaining to the patient that we're going to work out uh, where, where they're comfortable with their bite and you may find that some of the patients that you treat are not comfortable with their bite and, uh, and or don't know where their bite is. So the more means that you can use to determine uh, a good vertical component um, the better. So I have a, a form where I make up a grid and we check um, about five different things. So we can ask the patient first of all for a visual cue and ask them to count backwards from uh, 77 to 66. So count backwards for me. 77, 77 70. 76, 75, 74, 73, 72, 71, 70. That's correct, John. Um, you don't want a complete spacer under the tray because the patient's going to be applying a pressure. Um, so you need a close fitting tray. So, um, I'll add to that one in a second if that's okay. Just let Dr. Arbe explain these uh, pressure points. So, uh, so check the sore point only on the border. Border, dental border. Because the immobile tissue is blocked out. So this patient has a, a, a little bit inflamed flabby tissue in, in the anterior side, anterior area. So first, place it upward and a little, a little bit backward. Then flabby ridge, uh, inflamed flabby ridge is uh, um, so, uh, so, so they just worry is avoided, okay? Yeah. Um, yeah, what uh, Dr. Arbe is saying is that the flabby ridge at the front, when you insert the tray, if you push uh, up at first in the middle of the pallet with a small amount of pressure and then push the tray posteriorly back, which will lift the flabby ridge back into its correct position. Thank you. <laughs> I, I, I will send you the bill for interpreter fees. <laughs> so I cannot do two things during impression. Yeah. Oh my God! Uh, yes, uh, John. That's the the technique, I guess, that we use um, when we're in uh, in Japan, is to uh, to deliberately try and move that tissue back backwards. So that's a whole another course. So edges of dental border uh, contact the um, mucobuckle uh, fold strongly. Okay, here.
but front part almost okay. And just stay open for me, I'll just pop that up into position. There we go. Right. And just close together gently. That's good. And just tap tap for me. Okay, and slide forward and back, forward and back, tap tap, hold there, and just go out to this side and then just let it go back to the middle. That's good. This side and back to the middle. That's good. Tap tap. Good. Open up. Okay. So you can clearly see that we have good anterior posterior movement, um, excursive to the left and excursive to the right. But there are there is some deviation you can see there in the middle. Um, the, the placement of, of the, the plate sometimes you can run into trouble because uh, in class two they'll come right back onto this pin so you do have to be careful or when you're placing the, uh, the tracer plate. Um, at this point um, I'm going to pop it back in Just tap tap for me. And Pam, just open there, just tap tap for me. That's good, open up. Okay. So we're just confirming Pam's tapping point, the place where she's comfortable to tap. Um, if you can see, is that clear there? Yep. The tapping point is at the junction of the pin tracing, the arrowhead or the gothic arch trace. So a little bit more ink would have given us a, a perfect trace. So I'm going to you and get you just to come in and say thank you. Not you, not saying thank you, but then you say thank you. I'll just wash my hands and let. Sorry, John, was that a question? Model block. You'll see these uh, procedures live. We have got a few e experimental things that we brought back from Sydney. We're actually going to try and get it out with an intraoral camera to show you some of the uh, landmarks that we're looking when we're doing the diagnosis or examination for suitability of an effective suction venture. Um, primary impressions using the Accident tray system and frame cutback tray. So those of you that are familiar with the accident, you're going to see it in a different light. Those of you that have never seen it before, well, um, have your eyes open to something that's different. Um, the final and uh, functional impressions will be taken uh, where you will see and hear the experience of gaining suction on the lower with your impression. And determining the vertical and horizontal position with the Nathometer M pin tracing. I'll be doing a couple of those demonstrations. Uh, it's my patient that, that is in there, so I'll be um, presenting a couple of those uh, things. The additional course content, uh, so I mentioned Mrs. Uh, Kyoko. 
uh, will also feature in some of these presentations. So demonstrating custom tray outline, a part of this whole process uh, to work is changing the way you look at your casts, look at your impressions. Set up and fabrication of the nathometer, um, not fully. So many customers ask me, um, how do you decide uh, to see if uh, therapeutic credentials are needed? So um, take a look at this slide. 90% of the dental patient has a joint trouble from the point of an anatomical point of view. So Annie said, don't push the number of Joe. Very dangerous. So take a look at it. So the left right condylar is in protrusive position. Then I decided to use therapeutic danger before final danger. Of course, because uh, the mandibular jaw will be, a uh, will be improved in the near future. Caused by uh, using therapeutic danger. And uh, I, I always take x-ray, but uh, um, I don't know in the, I don't know your situation. So we got an uh, Australian de dental technician or so dentists cannot take x-rays. And I'm a dentist in Japan, so I always take a x uh, two-dimensional x-ray or 3D combined CT joint, chimpo mandible joint. And then it's obvious that uh, this patient needed to therapeutic danger to improve the mandibular jaw position before final danger. Team Kyoko, if you'd like to come forward, and uh, Dr. Yamazaki, yeah, uh, wake someone wake him up. Oh, good. Yeah. <laughs> <coughs> I'll leave this folder just for your feedback form. Sarah, can you grab this and put it at the end of the table for me, please? Just pop, uh, pop those in there. <coughs> And turn the light on um, as you go out, sir. John. Oh. Yeah. Sorry, I'm just turning around. So it is with um, great pleasure that we say thank you to you guys for taking time out of your busy practices, uh, coming to spend the day with us, um, showing uh, uh, some interest in some uh, first time ever in Australia technology from uh, Dr. Arbe uh, Techniques. And uh, as a team, we would like to thank you for coming here and spending that time with us. So a big thank you to all of you, and to, to my uh, colleagues who helped out without them all running around behind the scenes today.